wasn't too bad, was it? At least we remembered all the lyrics. And all the moves. Yeah. Maybe tone down the Saturday Night Fever stuff a bit, eh? You didn't have a problem with it in rehearsal. No, you're right. It's fine. Look, I'm really grateful for all of your support with this. The truth is I wouldn't have been able to do it if it hadn't been for you. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I, I know I'm only here because Roxy Rogers wouldn't take you as a solo artist. That's not true. We're a team and you know it. Roxy should be here by now. I just, I hope she likes what we've done. We're stuffed if she doesn't. She'll love it. Anyway, she'll be ages yet. She's probably stuck on the A64. Oh, God. I hope not. Great night for a blizzard. <laughs> You'll be fine. Come on, I, I know you've put so much effort into organising all of this. Eh? I'm glad she insisted we work together. It's been great. Yeah. Yeah, it has. And if it hadn't been for Roxy, we never would have been small and strong. The amazing double act. I'm so glad we changed that from small but strong. <laughs> Why? You made me sound like a cowboy with a tiny ass. It's not wrong with your ass, Steve. What? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> um, do you think the first song sounds alright? Sounds great. But do you think the arrangement works? Well, there's not much to go wrong, really. It's you on a guitar and me shaking a tambourine. The harmonies work well. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm probably just overthinking it. You are. Listen, uh, I'm going to take a look out front. There's a few things I need to check. The, the moving heads were pointing the wrong way. We want to dazzle people with our performance, not blind them with 400 watt LEDs. <laughs> Lawsuit waiting to happen. Okay, um, I'll stay here and do some deep breathing into a paper bag or something. I so need to calm down. Well, be on stage if you need me. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like it's filling up. Oh God, really? Is Roxy here? I'll check. Um, Sandy, relax. You'll be fantastic. Sandy's losing it again, Mr. Waffles. Yeah, she really is. Ugh. Who am I kidding? Like you can really help me. A ridiculous soft toy with googly eyes. Hey! Who are you calling ridiculous? I'm all you've got, sister! Sandy needs to pull herself together ASAP or she'll blow the whole gig! Roxy will have a pink fit with her leg in the air if she sees you like this. How do I get through it then? Maybe you should start by identifying what the problem is. What is it that Sandy's actually worried about? It just doesn't feel right, Mr. Waffles. Steve and I have worked so hard on my songs. But the sound's just... it's missing something. My guitar just ends up sounding... weedy, I suppose. Steve tries really hard with the tambourine, but it just ends up looking like a... demented beardy flamenco dancer and it just it all feels wrong it's not steve's fault his singing's fab so what is it that sandy wants oh, i don't know better mics fuller sound to snog steve sandy so what if i do these last few weeks have been amazing i think i might be really falling in love with him mr waffles I just want Steve to see that I'm my own person, talent-wise. After the way I've been treated by dickhead blokes in the past, I just... I just suppose if me and Steve ever were to... Get it on! <gasps> no need, Mr Waffles! Anyway, I'd just be happy knowing that he respects me for who I am. And snog him? <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> Poor Sandy. What I suggest you do is... Bloody typical. The curse of the mucky duck strikes again. And there's this place is still standing. Why? What's going on? Pizza oven stopped working. Whoever had the idea of pickled egg pizzas needed a head examining. One of them exploded and completely blocked the flue. I've had to open all the windows to let the stink out. And it's getting bloody freezing in there. Right, well, well, we'll just have to get them jumping up and down to keep warm. There's more. The beer's off. And there's more people trying to get in through the front door. It's looking like a full house. Oh, sod it. Listen, get Mike to put some music on, yeah? That can take the mind off the frostbite. Could. But Mike says the subwoofer's playing up again and he can't get the PA system working. This can't be happening. The music has to sound amazing. Roxy, our soon-to-be agent, expects it. Our future career as touring performers depends on it. Where's Mike now? 
in the DJ booth, up to his chin in loose wires and cables. Yeah. I'll give him bloody wires and cables. This has to work. You wouldn't stand for dodgy base cabs, would you, Cap? No. I need to be an adult about this. I'm mad about Sandy. I don't want to let her down. I just wish I could share my feelings. I'm such a bloody wimp. Sandy's songs are great, they really are. I don't think she knows how brilliant she is. One thing I've learned from Endless Nights of the Duck is what gets an audience going, what they really like. No one else knows but Mike, but I like to produce and remix tracks on my system at home. I know I gave her a hard time about that You Are The One song, but it's really grown on me. I did a remix of it. I wanted to play it to her, but I didn't want her to think I was interfering. I need to decide what to do, Cap. It's much full of sound. Maybe I should... Sandy Small's phone. Uh, Steve Strong speaking. Hello? Uh, the other half of Small and Strong, I presume? That's right. Well, I'm glad I've got one of you at least. It's Roxy. But I suspect you knew that. Most people recognise my dulcet tones. Well, I'm afraid I won't be coming anywhere near the East Coast tonight. We've had a bit of a crisis with glitz and glam. The agency's been taken over in what can only be described as a hostile merger by the international group Global Talent. Roxy Rogers will prevail, though. I always manage to rise above whatever lesser mortals try to throw in my way. Actually, I'm quite relieved because now I won't have to haul my petite size fours all the way over from Leeds to hear Sandy's tinny guitar sound. That bathroom demo she sent sure promised, but only that. My new associates at Global Talent have all your details, but I very much doubt whether they'll bother with the likes of the Mucky Duck or Small and Strong, for that matter. So. I shall bid you. Actually, Roxy, before you go. Oh, what, what is it? I have important things to attend to. Sandy Small has more talent than a million past it ex strippers. You'll know real talent if you have Fleetwood Max shoved down your knickers. I have never been spoken to like that in my entire And we don't give a flying fetid dingo's kidney about you or your agency. Sod off back to Rothworld, Roxy. And don't forget your twirling nipple tassels. Goodbye. Ruined the whole thing. The PA system's shot to hell. The food's off. The bar's only got pork scratchings, two crates of strawberry and lime copperberg, and half a bottle of tea Maria. And where's bloody Roxy? She should be here by now. Yeah, it'll be fine. We'll be all right. How, Steve? How will we be fine? There is a huge audience out there taking the seats, and they're expecting a show. And the one person who is the whole reason that we're doing this isn't even here. How is that fine? Sandy. Roxy's not coming. What? What do you mean? She just phoned. Her, her agency's been taken over by some international company and she cried off. And I might have told her where to shove it. I'm sorry, Sandy. So everything we've done? All the stress? The rehearsing, the shopping for your outfits, all of it was for nothing? Might as well just go and tell the punters that the gig's off. That's it then. Laughing stocks again. Well, at least we're consistent. Oh, come on, Sandy. Roxy's not important. You are. Your songs matter. You've got so much talent. I think you're amazing. I think you can achieve anything you put your mind to. You really think so? I do. And I think your talent's worth fighting for. Never say die, Sandy. I do believe in my music, it's just... 
What? Tell me. The songs sound unfinished. And to be honest, your timing on the tambourine's a bit crap. <laughs> no offence, men. None taken. I'm much better with technology. I just wish we sounded more like a proper group. Here. Listen to this. What is it? Just listen. This is brilliant! Why haven't you shown me before? Wasn't sure if it was good enough. You're so ace at everything you do. I, your opinion means a lot to me. I, I didn't want to lose it. Or you. Your opinion means a lot to me too. I don't want to lose this. I don't want to lose you and not just because you turn out to be some secret top music producer. With a small butt. <laughs> I like you. I like you a lot. Thank God. I feel exactly the same. Apart from the small butt bit, obviously. Do you know, if we could learn to be completely honest with each other... I could do that. Well, we could be the perfect partnership. I could write and you could produce and we could both sing and play. Not the tambourine. Definitely not the tambourine. <laughs> and who knows, if you play your cards, right? Wow. Sandy. See. It's Mike. Tommy, what does he want? He fixed the pizza oven and he sorted out the crossover on the PA system. And there's a German guy from a firm called Global Talent. He's scouting for a tour of all the major cities of Europe. Blimey! Right. Right, well that's it then. Whatever happens from here on out, we have each other, all right? I believe in that. I believe in us. Listen, you take the backing tracks to Mike and we'll go from there. Right, let's do this. So what song do you want to open with? You can choose. <laughs>